and the question on the day of judgment accounting on the day of judgment is going to be on three levels three levels first is the individual level allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says laqad jitumuna furada kama khalaqnakum awwala marra wa taraktum ma khawwalnakum wara zuhurikum today i find you all by yourself in front of me like i had sent you to the world all by yourself وَتَرَكْتُمْ مَا خَوَّلْنَاكُمْ وَرَا زُهُورِكُمْ hey, All that, that you amass that wealth, that big house, that big car, that big show off, that big power, that huge number of suits that you have, all these things that you amassed, what did you do? خَوَّلْنَاكُمْ وَرَا زُهُورِكُمْ You have left it behind your back. Didn't bring it with you. Today you are alone, naked, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now let's talk. Now let's do the hisab of what I had given you and how you spent it. That's individual, individual accountability. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Yawma tajidu kullu nafsi ma amilat min khairi muhdar wa ma amilat min su." Today, every soul, every single person will find a record of whatever khair, whatever good he has done, whatever bad he has done, right in front of him. So the accountability is individual. What I have done, I am accountable for all that. That is one level, the first level. Second level of accountability is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells us, "Ya alazina amnu ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara." Save yourself from fire and save your family. Ahl, ahl is not necessarily the nuclear family, husband, wife, and children. Ahl includes your brothers and sisters, your uncles and aunts, your family, larger family. Save your family from nar. It's your duty. Save yourself and your family from nar. And I'm going to be asked on that. Did you do that? Yes, you did. Get up in the morning, leave your house and go to the masjid. You did that. Did you wake up your son? Did you wake up your wife? Did you wake up your daughter? Did you tell them this is fajr time? You must get up and pray. If you haven't had enough sleep, you can sleep later. But now you must get up and pray. Did you do that? If you didn't, that's not enough. You saved yourself, but you didn't save your family. You didn't save your family. Did you, before you go to bed in the night, did you inquire from your children? Hey guys, did you pray your Isha? Huh? Has everybody prayed the Isha? Okay. If you have not, let's all pray together. Come on. Did you do that? No, you didn't. If you gave a donation of two hundred dollars to a charitable organization, did you bring your eight-year-old son and say, "Son, come, come, I write down a check here. Here's the checkbook. This is how you write it. This is the donation I'm giving. You know, this is going to the school. This is going to the, to the masjid, so that the son it goes in him. That donation has to be given. Did you train him? Did you train your children? Did you correct your wife? Did you correct your family? That's my second level, and that's where I have to pass. And the third level is still larger. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَتَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِيدًا." I have made you Muslims أُمَّةً وَسَطًا so that you can be شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ. So that you can be a witness for all the humankind, whether they are in Japan or Australia, whether they are in Africa or America, it doesn't matter. You are living in America, but the people are doing something wrong in Japan. You are going to be asked for that because you are shahada al nas. Wa yakoon Rasool alaykum shahood shahida, and Rasool sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I will ask him. Did you tell them the right and the wrong? And of course, at the amana, when the Sahlumma, he gave the amana. He gave us all. He didn't keep anything hidden from us. So he will say, "I gave them all." Now, did we pass it on to the others? Now, my job is to pass it on. I will not be questioned why so and so did not become a Muslim. No, I will not be asked that. But did you give him the message of Islam or not? Yes, I'll be asked that. When you were at work, did you pass on the message of Islam to your colleagues or not? If you didn't, 
Then on the day of judgment, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will get those people and say, you all have been mushriks, you all have been kafirs, you're going to Jannam. Ya Allah, we don't know. How did we know? Nobody gave us your message. Why? Say, said, well, there were people working with us. These guys, they were Muslims. They were working with us. They never opened their mouth. They never told us anything. And Allah will call the Muslims and say, did you not tell them about the religion? Did you not give the message to them? Did you not pass on my book to them? No, I didn't. Oh. So now that fellow didn't even know. This fellow knew and hid it. So the judgment now, I'm not a judge. I leave for you to think what the plight is going to be at that time when we're going to be answerable before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at this level.